Hello, good day. Welcome back to our video tutorial. And in this video, we will solve this problem, the cantilever beam problem with a spring support. Okay, uh, so this is the specific problem that I uh, I prepared. Okay, this will be a more general problem because in nalagyan ko ng overhang. Okay, and the method we will use here is the super superposition method. Okay, so let's start. Calculate the reactions and deflection of the spring support and also the moment at the fixed support at A. Okay, so first thing to do here is gagawin natin to siyang cantilever beam without overhang or a prop beam. Okay, so ganito yan. I will cut this at point B. Ito yung mangyayari. Okay, now take note if we cut this at this portion, my internal reaction dyan. Tawagin natin yung um, shear V. The shear at B. Okay? And also, since that is a continuous end, that will be having a moment reaction red. That will be the moment at B. Okay? And the shear at B here is just the summation of forces vertical. That will be the resultant force of this uniformly distributive load dito sa taas. Okay? BV is equals to 25 times 1. Okay? And that is 25 kilonewtons lang. Okay? And the moment here is just the moment produced by this load. Okay? That will be the, um, the moment at B is 25 times 1, that is the resultant, then times the moment arm na 0.5. Okay? So we have 12.5 kilonewtons meter. Now, if we have these reactions here, if we transfer this to this side, uh, magiging balik tada yan by action reaction. Okay? So, uh, ganito yan. Magiging downward na yung shear mo or the load and magiging um, clockwise na yung moment at B natin. Okay? Now, uh, first thing to do here is the moment, I mean the free body diagram. The free body diagram here, let's call this RS. The reaction due to spring and let's call this RA and we have the moment reaction dito. Take note, we have MA. Okay? And gagawin natin dito is superposition super method. Um, first, we will calculate the deflection at free end since it dito nag yung spring. Calculate natin yung deflection dyan due to the given, given loads or the applied loads. Okay? So, all we need to uh, memorize is ito lang. Okay? So, due to this uh, concentrated load P at the free end of the cantilever beam, the deflection is given by this formula, PL, PL cube over 3 EI. And due to, due to the uniformly distributive load naman, the deflection at the free end is WL4 over 8 EI. And due to the moment at the free end, due to, due to the moment at the free end, the deflection at the end point or the free end of the cantilever beam is ML squared over 2 EI. Okay, so madali, madali na lang naman itong e-memorize. Okay, so if hindi uh, di mo gustong mag-memorize o mapipilitan ka talagang gawin yung mga double integration method, the area moment method, or anything na pwedeng gawin it dito. So, for me talaga ito yung pinakamadali. At least ma-memorize mo lang to. Okay? So first, we will calculate the deflection at free end due to the applied loads. So tatanggalin muna natin yung spring support. Okay. So ito yung, um, what do you call this? The elastic curve. So the deflection will be like this because of these given loads. Okay. And let's call that delta L. Deflection due to loads. Okay. And as you can see, <coughs> this is combination of loadings lang. Okay. Uh, delta L is WL4 over 8 EI due to this uniformly distributive load and this due to this concentrated load at at free end that will be PL cube over 3 EI and due to this moment at free end is ML squared over 2 EI. Okay, so combination lang. At if in case wala itong overhang kanina, so ito lang yung gagamitin natin. This one, WL4 over 8 EI. Okay? So, substituting this, that will be um, extract natin one, yung 1 over EI or factored out natin para mas konti lang yung ilalagay natin. Okay? So, WL over 8 na lang. 
this one 25 4 raised to 4 over 8 and PL cubed P is 25 L is 4 and over 3 and we have 12.5 times 4 squared over 2 now take note ang L natin dito is the this lang ha ito lang hindi yung total length kanina um, if follow nyo lang yung nasa formula or sa drawing okay so the value here is 43 over 1 200 meters okay Yun. So, ibabalik natin yung reaction Then, the next step is to calculate the reaction I mean, the deflection of the beam due to the spring Or due to the stiffness of the spring um, Tatanggalin naman natin dito yung applied loads Yun. So, um, ito Gagawin natin is calculate the reaction due to this um, spring Meaning, iaangat niya yung beam pataas Magiging ganito yung elastic curve uh, let's call that the re deflection due to reaction of the spring. Okay, as you can see, this, this is a concentrated load at free end, so we can use. Okay, that is the reaction due to the spring. Now, we can use the formula here, this one. PL cubed over 3 EI, where our P here is the concentrated load at free end. Okay, so substitute. So, in terms of RS tayo, since unknown pa ito. Okay, so we have. RS over 1875 that be that will be in meters. Okay, so what's the next step? Ibabalik natin yung total loads dyan. Kumbaga, ikukumbine na natin yung deflections nila. Okay, so magiging ganito yan. So the actual deflection here, uh, initially we have the deflection due to the applied loads. That is delta L. Okay. Now, take note, iaangat ito ng spring pataas, meaning ibabalik niya ito pataas. This one, delta R. And this is the actual elastic curve ng ating beam dito. Okay? So, ang matitirang deflection dito is the actual deflection at point B. Or that is simply the deflection of the spring. Okay? That will be, tawagin nating delta S. That is the deflection of the spring support. Now, as you can see here, we can say that delta S plus delta R is equals to delta L. Okay. So, ayun. So, if titingnan natin ito sa actual beam, ito yung deflection of the spring. Or ito, this blue one. Okay. Now, take note, we have delta R here in terms of RS, and we have delta L, the value of delta L. All we need to know is this delta S. Okay. So, saan natin kukunin yung delta S? Or the deflection of the spring. Okay, take note, we have the spring constant. And spring constant is given by this formula, the force over the deflection. Okay, spring constant or the stiffness is force over the deflection. So we have 2 newtons per millimeter or expressed in kilonewtons, the same lang yan. Kilonewtons per meter. Okay, now, um, we can express delta S into, into RS. Okay, so cross multiply, magiging ganito yan. RS over 2, of course. Okay? So, uh, as you can see, all the remaining unknown here, unknown here is the RS na lang or the reaction of the spring. Okay, substitute. This delta S is R of RS over 2 and delta R is RS over 1875 and delta L is 43 divided by 1200. And we have only one unknown here that is the RS or the reaction of reaction in the spring okay and that is the first question so we have 0 0.07159 kilo newtons or para mas ma-appreciate natin yung value gawin natin yung newtons 71.59 newtons and that is the answer of the first question now the second question is the deflection on the spring support okay the, the deflection of the spring support is ito rs over 2 okay so we have RS is 71.59 divided by 2 and we have 35.8 millimeters. Okay, so that's it lang. Now, the last question is the moment reaction at A. So, anong gagawin natin? Ibabalik natin yung actual loads. Okay, so in this manner, we have the reaction at the spring end na. We can calculate this moment at A by equilibrium equation. 
Um, by summation of moment about A, dapat 0 yan for equilibrium. So, that will be, unahin natin yung count clockwise moment. That will be this load. 25 times whole length, 5 meters, times the moment arm. Take note, we are acting at this center, 2.5. Then, this will create counterclockwise moment, minus 71.59. So, gawin ko siyang kilonewtons divided by 1,000 times the moment arm 4. Okay? Uh, minus pa rin the moment at A that is counterclockwise moment minus moment at A and we have the reaction moment of A 312.21 kilonewtons meter. Okay, so that's it. So, sobrang dali lang, no? So, it's up to you kung gagamitin mo itong superposition method or any method na komportable ka. Okay, uh, pwedeng double integration, pwedeng area moment, pwedeng uh, conjugate beam method or any method you know. But for me, ito yung pinakamadaling uh, solution dito. All you need to know is to um, memorize those formulas na pinakita ko. Okay, so thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet sa channel natin, please do subscribe or follow us on our Facebook page in order for, for you to be notified if gagawa ako ng bagong videos. Okay, so uh, please fo uh, follow follow us to to be more updated on especially passport problems. Okay, thank you and God bless. Bye-bye. So